ones now with mourning. Blessed are the ones now in mourning. Blessed are the ones now in mourning. They'll have their comfort one day. Jesus taught me with a song that fountain. Jesus walking with a song that fountain. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Sing out, all you children of the Lord. Sing out, all you children of the Lord. I'm excited to be sitting here with all these wonderful people. I'm going to get the longer in the shot, too. Yay! So now there is Sadie and Hannah and Nolanda and myself, Molly. We are excited to welcome you to week four, I think, of our Beatitudes. And we're talking today about blessed are those who mourn. So we were just talking about being okay to be sad. And so I'm going to ask, we were already talking about this, but why is it so hard to be sad? <laughs> At home, ask yourself, do you find it easy to be sad? Or is it a struggle for you to admit when you are sad? Nolanda, is it hard or is, or is it easy for you to say, you know, I'm feeling sad? I think it's, it's hard because people don't want to hear complaints. Mm -hmm. and, it, and that might be negative. And so they don't, they don't want to, they don't want to face their own sadness. Mm -hmm. And so, and they may not know how to comfort you if you tell them you're sad. And it's kind of awkward. It is. It is. Hannah, are you an easy crier? Well, <laughs> I think that it's easy for, to tell myself, like, to know myself that I'm sad, but it's hard to reach out to other people because I don't want to seem vulnerable or like, I'm just crying over nothing when that's not really the case. It's just how I feel. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, I definitely am good at crying. <laughs> <laughs> Sadie? Um, I am definitely not good at crying. Even when I'm feeling sad, it's hard for me to, like, let it out. And I think that I like to be, um, like, a positive influence in people's lives and be helpful to people and be, like, easygoing and friendly. And so to show people that I'm sad is, like, not doesn't feel like who I am, even though it's part of who everybody is. So, yeah. um, on a mission trip in Costa Rica, our guide um, said um, just to call him 95. And he was 95% of the time just happy. He's like, I'm always go with the flow, kidding you, but 5% he'll get serious and actually tell you something truthful. <laughs> He's like, 95% of the time, I'm kidding. But that's the way I think I, I think 95% of the time I'm trying to be upbeat and optimistic, but I think it's okay for 5% of my day to realize I'm not okay. Mm -hmm. um, it, it is, it's hard, like everyone is saying, it's mm -hmm. hard to be vulnerable to someone else. That That's to sell, to sell someone you're sad and to cry in front of someone Ooh. else <laughs> is really hard. Mm -hmm. um, have you ever cried at the movies? <laughs> See? Yes. But I never cried at a movie. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was just, I was like, no, why would I do that? <laughs> I, think it, I think we think it shows weakness. Yeah. Right. And sometimes sadness can be construed as anger. It comes mm -hmm. out as anger. And so it's, it's really difficult to, for instance, this has been several months, but with, I was had the realization of COVID-19 and its far-reaching effects. Mm -hmm. And I can remember I was leaving uh, one of my offices and driving, and I was angry. Mm -hmm. I, but, it, it, you know, I was sad, but it, it turns into anger yeah. sometimes. Mm -hmm. And especially if we hold it in. Yeah, yes. once you bottle it up, yes. then I think it starts to come out. So it's better just to, just to go ahead yeah. and let it out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> once in a while. Right. 
I mean, I think about as being a mom and, and when my son is sad, I mean, just go ahead and cry. It's so, but it's not easy. Even, mm -hmm. I think even for kids, for you guys, it's not always easy to just cry. But it's a real feeling. And so Jesus tells us today that blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. And I just, I think we have to show that, though, in order for us to be comforted. Because mm -hmm. I don't think we can comfort ourselves. We try, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And sometimes that's when we eat, like, all the junk food we want. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. we have our own ways of trying to get through things. Yeah. <laughs> but then sometimes we feel worse, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Because then you get the tummy aches after you've eaten all the, all the ice cream in the fridge. You're know, like, man, it felt good for a moment. <laughs> but we need, but it says right here that in this promise, Jesus speaks to people who mourn and praises them. Why do you think he does this? That's a tough one. That's a great question. That's a great question. If you have an answer, comment below. <laughs> and let us know why you think it is that Jesus praises those who mourn. I guess so they can maybe put themselves in somebody else's shoes, so to speak, mm -hmm. and have that, that empathy for them. Empathy is a great word. Define empathy. Empathy is putting yourself in somebody else's shoes, not feeling sorry for them, but understanding where they are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or trying to. Yeah, that was a good way to define it. <laughs> good job. All right, so one of the questions in here says, why do you think people cry? So what's the reason that you have cried? Oh. Oh, when you fall and you hurt yourself. Ah, <laughs> yes. You cry. Yes. When my dogs are sick or something's oh. wrong with them. Pets. Mm -hmm. yeah. Something's wrong with your pets. When I get frustrated. Mm -hmm. Something's not going the way I want it to. That will mm -hmm. cause me to cry. Mm -hmm. so sometimes it's anger or frustration. Mm -hmm. It's all out of the same place. But I mean, whenever I see, like, children in pain, Mm -hmm. Or I see them crying, then I, and I instantly start mm -hmm. tearing up because I don't like to see children crying either. Mm -hmm. I think crying, like, I mean, it, it, I love it. Where does it say it? It, it reminds us that we are alive mm -hmm. and that we have feelings. And I think that's important to know that you are alive. And, it's, and crying is just a way to say, oh, I'm aware of what I'm feeling right now. Mm -hmm. And that's okay. Mm -hmm. But I love that Jesus then promises that we will be comforted. And I'm really glad that we all talked about other reasons why we cry. Of course, blessed are those who mourn. We usually think of mourning when someone has died and we're grieving someone's death or sad that someone has died. And I know I've experienced that in some real ways. Mm -hmm. I'm sure everyone here, and maybe you have. I, I know I never experienced it until I was um, 14. and it, it hits you like a ton of bricks. Grief really does. But to remember that Jesus tells us that we will be comforted. What does that make you feel? Warm and fuzzy. <laughs> <laughs> All happy. And yes. Better. Yeah. Yeah. That makes us feel better. And safe. 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 It reminds yes. me that those bad feelings are not forever. They're not, sometimes yeah. they're necessary, but they're also not forever. Yeah. Very good. There's always someone you can talk to, and that's important too. Because, as we were saying, you can't comfort yourself. You got to find that someone else who's going to listen and comfort you. Um, I mean, I know I'm very blessed in my marriage that I can talk to my husband, but I always have have had a really good relationship with my parents as well, and I go to them mm -hmm. for a lot of it. Who do you go to, Nolanda? Mm -hmm. I have a mentor. Oh, yeah. And, uh, check in with her. That's good. Yeah. That's really good. <laughs> Hannah, who's someone who comforts you? Um, my best friend Annabelle. Oh. <laughs> she lives in New York, but I can call her anytime. Mm -hmm. And she like it's vice versa. That's just oh, how we work. So mm -hmm. yeah. 
Yeah, the 80. Um, I my I'm very close with my family, but also um, I have a really solid group of friends. Um, one of whom is my roommate, and then um, a couple of our other friends, and we hang out a lot. And they've we kind of know too much about each other, so um, they're 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 the people that I can that I can come to when I awesome. need to. Talking about who do we go to for comfort? A reminder that. You could be one who brings comfort to someone else. When you use your kind words, when you do a generous deed, you can bring God's comfort to someone. I want to read this to you. Tears and crying are important, especially when what makes us cry is painful or hard to hold. It's also a beautiful way we connect to God. And did you know that God cries too? And that Jesus cried during his time on earth? God cries for everyone. God's heart is wide and holds all the pain of everyone hurting throughout the whole world. And when we cry, it's a way of sharing in God's heart. So when you offer your loving words or offer a helping hand, especially to someone who is sad, you are God's comfort to that person. Crying together and being vulnerable always helps us bring, always helps us belong with each other. And it brings us closer to God. So if you notice, I, my friends aren't here with me anymore because thanks to technology, my computer froze and thus they disappeared. Not really. Um, but we ended our time together in prayer and I offered them this blessing. So I'm offering you this blessing. You are blessed when you are laughing, and when you are crying. For God feels all of those feelings with you. You are blessed. We're going to end our time together singing a song called Kyrie Eleison. It's a beautiful prayer, and it goes really well with what all we've been talking about today. Hey, Molly, what does Kyrie Eleison mean? Glad you asked. So Kyrie eleison means, Lord, have mercy. And Christe eleison means, Christ, have mercy. So as you go through this week, look for someone who might be sad and be a comfort for them. And when you are feeling sad, remember it's okay. And that's a way that you can connect with God and with others. Hope you have a wonderful week. For those of you playing along at home, you might have gotten little tokens. Those tokens are for you to give out this week or anytime to someone that you might see feel sad and you can remind them that you are there and they are loved. Or if someone does something nice for you, you can give it to them and say, thank you, you are appreciated. Small things we can do to make this world a better place. And you guys are a big part of it. Have a great week. Let us end our time together in prayer.
softly.